Hey guys, my name is Sudesha and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an empties video and we are going to see the products that I have currently emptied and uh, I'm just going to tell you guys if I'm going to repurchase them or not. So it's going to be kind of like an empties with a very small mini review. The last time I did this video was exactly a year back. So I do this video once in a year and I think that's going to be the pattern so that you know we don't waste time just showing empties every 3-4 months unless I have too many empties in like the next 3-4 months I'm probably going to just stick to once a year for these empties videos so yeah anyway um, without any further ado let's just get started okay so the first product that I have completely emptied is this one so this is the Maybelline uh, Fit Me foundation and I absolutely love this uh, it's completely over and like the edges look really nasty so please excuse me for that but if you guys have used this foundation then you know that this is kind of pretty normal so yeah um, I don't know if you guys can see like can you guys see I don't know if you can but it's like completely empty there is nothing left now when it comes to whether I'm going to repurchase it or not for now currently I am not going to repurchase it I might repurchase it in like a year or two if I feel like it but for now I am not the reason why I'm not going to repurchase it anytime soon is because I have my eyes on the pack foundation but unfortunately pack right now has not restocked their HD foundation but yeah once they restock it I'm definitely going to buy myself the pack HD foundation because I have heard so much about that foundation and I just can't wait to try it the next product that I have is this deodorant so this one is by Nivea it's a deodorant fresh comfort fresh feeling 48 hours I don't know about 48 hours it doesn't really even stay for 24 hours but I actually really love this one so this is an alcohol free fresh clean scent I use it every single day uh, when I'm going to the gym or like when I'm just going out I need to use a deodorant when I'm going out I do use a perfume but that's generally on my like skin and stuff but I use deodorant for my underarms etc so it's kind of really important will I repurchase it yes absolutely I I have already repurchased it so it's the same one but this one is I didn't realize when I was buying it because I only remembered the colors and I thought it's the same thing but this one is a whitening sensitive even tone underarms without irritation uh, deodorant um, the reason why I bought it again is because it is zero percent alcohol that's the main thing you need to see when you're buying deodorant so the next one is this and this looks absolutely nasty guys like I don't even want to show you guys the top I'm just going to show you this part over here so as you guys can see like you can see the container has gone completely clear except for a very thin layer in the bottom but that's something I can't do anything about organic sugar peppermint lip scrub I absolutely love this one uh, from the day I started using sugar I mean lip scrubs uh, this is the brand that I've been using the most and I'm definitely going to repurchase it this is actually my second container but I threw away my first container so I can't really show you that next thing I have is this one as you can see completely empty so this is the Himalaya pure purifying neem face wash and I don't think I really have to give much reviews about it I feel like almost everyone has this face wash I really do like it I don't use it every single day I only use it during the time when I have my periods because that's when I am prone to getting more pimples so I just like to use it for those three four days oh so yeah I've completely used this up and I'm definitely going to repurchase it so next we have is this one it's another face wash it's by Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash this is actually a sample size can you guys believe it it's actually pretty big for a sample size and I absolutely loved it now will I repurchase it no I'm not even though this is an amazing face wash and I love Kiehl's products you guys know I use their serums all the time but the face wash I'm not going to repurchase because it is very expensive and I'm not going to spend so much money on a face wash because I feel like it just gets over very quickly 
So next we have a sunscreen and this is the Patanjali um, SPF 30 sunscreen. I absolutely love this sunscreen. If you guys haven't tried this, you should definitely give it a try. It's very inexpensive also. It's only 100 rupees. It is very light on your skin and it just absorbs on your skin very very well. The texture is very watery uh, which means that it's going to absorb a lot quicker and every time I've used this sunscreen, I have gotten the the most minimum tanning possible like if I'm shooting outside for longer hours this is definitely prevented maximum tanning now the only downside I would say about this is that the maximum they have is SPF 30 and now that it's getting really really sunny I need at least a minimum of SPF 50 which is kind of a bummer because I absolutely love the formula of this sunscreen I think you guys should definitely try it if you guys haven't the next empty I have is this one so this is the Tony and Guy heat protection mist I absolutely love this product and ever since I've started using this I have never used any other heating spray and I feel like that's the case with anyone else who has used this product because it's just such a good product it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy after you've straightened it or curled it which I really really like I do straighten my hair very very occasionally because I try to straighten it as you know less as possible but yeah every time i do i use this one this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle i am not even kidding i wish i was exaggerating but that is how much i love this it's probably my fourth and fifth one and i already have a backup so that just shows how much i love this product next we have some mascaras and i think this is kind of a surprise because um, until like two months back I used to always say that I don't really use mascara I have three mascaras that I have to show you guys so this one is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express waterproof absolutely empty and completely dry next we have these two so this is the thick and fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara by Soap and Glory uh, The reason why I have two of these is because I bought some other Soap and Glory products and this kind of came with that but other than that I probably wouldn't have bought it because it's not a very great mascara I'm not going to repurchase this one and I'm not going to repurchase this one as well Next we have a primer This is the Lacme Blur Perfect Primer and if you guys see any of my makeup videos that that I have done then you guys will see that I always 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 use this primer and I finally you know completely finished it and yeah there's like you know yeah nothing left in this so will I repurchase this yes I will I absolutely love the moussey texture that it gives next we have this one so this is a uh, speed plump all day super moisturizer marvel by soap and glory uh, this was mentioned in one of my favorites videos like almost a year back and i finally finished it will i repurchase it maybe not the thing is that i didn't really like the smell of it it just made it feel really artificial so next we have a liquid highlighter by color bar it's the radiant glow um, it is very inexpensive it wasn't very expensive at all it's by color bar generally i like to put powder highlighter but if i am going for a more natural look then i will use this one and it just looks so natural so i'm definitely going to repurchase it the next product that i've completely emptied is this it's the nyx soft matte lip cream and this one is in the color rome there was a point in time where i was using this color every single day it's a beautiful nude color uh, i'm just going to swatch whatever is left in the brush but yeah as you can see this swatch is not very clear because it has completely dried will i repurchase it yes i will maybe not immediately because right now i have some other nude lip color favorites now the next product i have is this so this is the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick, it's the Valentine edition, it comes with 6 matte liquid lipsticks. Now I haven't finished all of them, I just finished one and it's the Posse K. I threw it away as soon as it got over so I don't actually have the product to show you guys. I kind of underestimated how much product will be there in the mini size and yeah it got over. Will I repurchase it? Yes, I would love to repurchase it. but. 
you know kylie cosmetics are kind of expensive so i will repurchase it like eventually so the last product that i've completely emptied is this one and i don't think it's a surprise if you guys know me for a while that you know that i absolutely love this concealer by maybelline it's like an under eye brightening concealer and let me just answer the repurchase question yes i will i already have a backup and this backup was like bought 3 4 months back so those were all the products that i had to show for you guys today please let me know in the comments down below if you guys found this video useful and you know if you guys would consider buying any of this products don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you guys haven't already i make videos every tuesday and friday and i'll catch you guys next time bye